Welcome everybody, this is August 22, Sunday, we're going to be doing our weekly watch list, this is Reading Glenn from Hawaii Trading Academy, yeah, check out the right. shirt, the gear guys, <laughs> yeah, yes sir, um, <laughs> we're going to be going over our watch lists on potential trade setups and opportunities and if we are already in these trades uh, follow along definitely so in the email that we're going to send out with this um, we have links for you to uh, open up your demo account so that you guys can start trading today all right we'll go dive into the charts let me share my screen today be using the meta trader app all right, I want to I want to change this. So this is your first time using the MetaTrader, right? Oh, well, I've always used MetaTrader. It's just that um. Other... Yeah, but you're usually using when uh, we do these. <laughs> you're usually using uh, Thinkorswim, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. So this is the MetaTrader app, guys. Uh, really, really simple, basic. Not used to the nice aesthetic of Thinkorswim. Um, so it does get used to getting used to so i like to use let me go back to my bars okay so this is your euro usd i was currently short in this this is the daily chart um and you can see i got short obviously the the overall market direction was is bear uh, market did pull back here made a lower low and at this high um lower high that's when i got triggered into a trade and so uh currently holding it since last week which is a good trade so pulled back last friday um and we will see how it plays out and this is a part where you're just managing your trade um this is the nikkei i believe cash market i just started looking at um it's been sideways since January. This is a daily chart, sideways action, and now we closed uh, lower than the previous lows. So that is a trigger for me to go short. So I'm a short there. Um, Ether USD. This is in the crypto markets. I am currently long here. I was able to. This is a daily chart. As you can see, we peaked up for a, a high of 4300 drop down all the way to 1756 so you diamond hand guys man if you bought here and you're still and you're holding it at 1700 oh tough diamond tough, hands tough, there diamond hands so traders like Reed and I we just stood out st stood on the sidelines until we got recent confirmation that the market was starting to move again and so um it shows a bullish um move and we are oh i am long there um same for bitcoin currently long here got in on the pullback and this is a daily chart got long there um us bonds i am long i know price been a little bit choppy but we'll see how that plays out. Let's see. Gold. I am short. Gold. Deep, deep drop. But we'll see. This is a... It looks like it tested this previous level of 1676 here. And you see this long wick. Um, and it had a strong rebound for the bulls to run up. So we'll see how this plays out definitely um this is a daily chart and so if you were to just follow the previous drops on here we had a long um bull bear move pull back a little bit then we shortly drop so we'll see how this plays out obviously you always got to keep your risk in check uh one thing i want to look at was eyeing out was oh wait was I'm eyeing out your USD CAD for a potential buy. Um, and what was the other one? Euro and Kiwi for a potential buy as well. And Kiwi Yen for a potential short. 
And there's one more. Oh, let's look at the S&Ps. Let me switch, switch screens here. Go back to my thinkorswim for the S&P. Indices, I got knocked out last week for some losses because of this nice drop in news or whatever. So this was on the 17th, eight, followed by another heavy drop. So from the previous high of 44.76, we dropped over 100 points. And so that is way past my stop loss, which made me stay out. Of, I got Obviously, I got knocked out um, way before that. So I did not withstand this move and right now it looks like it's it rebounded cl had a higher close on the 19th thursday friday by a strong bullish move and today in the pre-market it looks like it's starting to creep up again so same thing for you you're going to see a similar action in the nasdaq made a recent high drop down so this is a drastic move, almost a thousand. No, that's uh, yeah, a good amount of points right there, almost a thousand points. But same thing, strong recovery, strong close here. So um, I am looking at. I've entered the S and P MES long, in anticipation that this bu recent bull movement will continue. So look out for that, guys. Back to you, bro. Nice, nice watch, man. Man, you're really active in the market this week and last week, huh? Yeah, so um, for those two, a lot for, of opportunities, a lot of opportunities, a lot of markets moving. Um, are currently, I'm trying to, I'm um, trying to get the FTMO account funded. So that's something, a new challenge I just started, and just following Reed's footsteps. All right, cool. Can you hear me good? And my yes. screen is sharing still solid all right cool all right so this week i'm looking at continuation plays the market moved really nice this past week um, we we're looking at this correction um let me blast this so this is the daily and uh, we're looking at this nice corrective pattern and it's just it dropped all below my emas continued nicely down so this is odd yen daily i'm waiting for a pull back here um something like this just a nice ascending pattern a nice ascending pattern after a bear run is a key sign for me to enter the market so that's what i'll be looking for going into this week um if you look in the lower time frames that at price action is beginning to form so uh well i'll just keep an eye on it uh moving on to another yen pair is cad yen this is only my second yen pair that i'll be watching this week not really dollar yen euro yen or pound yen none of those um because these are showing the nicest type of formation for myself um i am wary of this very long low test here uh because that could mean that the bulls are just wanting to go up higher because overall if we blast this chart again this is an overall bull trend on the bigger time frames if i like zoom out on the monthly which i won't but if you zoom out on the weekly and the monthly you're going to see that it's in a overall uptrend and this could continue on it could just be a pullback here so it could go up down and then continue up but um we're just going to notice and take note of the immediate price price action so if it continues up something like this again like i said if it's a bear trend followed by an ascending channel that is one of my key signals to enter the market for a continuation short so it's, it is pulling back nicely we're gonna see how price develops there euro odd is my next pair i'm watching this one will be a long position so this is forming an ascending channel here um if it breaks down below retest this ema here on the four hour that's what i'll be looking for here it already broke the most recent high which is this line here the support at 1.61801 i need this to pull back down make a little rejection and then continue up 
that's what I'll be looking for. And then pound dollar and Kiwi dollar, both the dollar related correlated pairs. So if we look at the daily here, daily on pound dollar, that is short. I love the short move. I love that it, it's broken below EMA, my EMAs on all time frames, four hour, one hour daily. Looking really nice. Uh, same concept though. I'm st just looking for a pullback or something like this. Just, just a type of pattern for a continued short. Uh, I am overall bearish on this pair. And then I'm going to jump to my last watch for Forex, which is a uh, Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi dollar making this nice formation, nice tight flag here. Um, flags and channels are what I like to trade off of. So this just continues and hovers and stays below this EMA here. Um, I'm looking for an entry. So if it forms something like this, uh, that is to me, that's a golden sign to enter because the bears have taken over this market. This is the daily here. Oh, my bad. Daily here. Had a triple top a uh, few months ago, May, January, February, and May. Now we're broken down below. Again, dynamic support here. Broken down below all EMAs and all price um, support levels and resistance levels. So I'm liking it. I'm really liking This is my key trade this week, which would be Kiwi dollar short. Um, but I am keeping in mind that this could pull back all the way to the four hour EMA. Could pull back up this way just make a bigger uh, descending channel uh so we'll see how that goes moving on to crypto uh first things first is the king of them all which is bitcoin bitcoin it's it's creating new highs as of you know since the last uh low here at 2800 it's breaking above new key levels over 41 if it could go over 50 we're looking to a nice bull run so this is the 50 mark we're just at the corner of 50 if it breaks here i'm uh, forecasting that it's going to go long at least to 60 again 64 and with another it could potentially drop down again but we don't know the market we're not market predictors we're just trading off probabilities and that is the most relevant probability i'm seeing so i am like glenn i am long in in this with um our my ftmo account with ftmo it's really cool you could trade cryptos as well um metals futures and forex so just to name a few moving on to the last one it's one of my favorites is cordana cordana has had this super nice bullish run i didn't get into this descending channel uh or descending wedge here and a rejection off my emas i didn't get into it but i Ideally, I would have placed my entry around this level with the stop below um, the most recent touch here. So I would be in positive, but I, I didn't see it at this time. It was the weekend. This just happened yesterday. This is the hourly. So I was away from the charts, not looking at this specific, this specific chart, but it is a good trade. It followed everything according to my trading plan, um, and I would have been long on this. It was beautiful continuation but overall i'm just i'm watching this uh because if you guys know crypto crypto is very volatile and uh with the volatility that comes um you know bears will come in strong and it'll drop like an elevator go the market moves up like stairs and drops like an elevator so just following those cryptos really tight um risk management so um, that's all i got glenn that's awesome, dude. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. I'm like, Brad, that Cardona Cardona trade was to the T. What you would get into? Oh, but it's to the you, T, man. It's a valid. You have a valid reason. You were away from the charts. It's the weekend, dude. You can't catch yeah. every move. Nope, can't catch every move, and it's good too. It is good. You mentally, you need to step away from the charts. You need to get out there, hmm. enjoy a little bit of sun. If not, there's no sun. Enjoy time with your family. Because yeah. that's why we trade, you know, we trade so we can have those moments. 100%. I'm with you on that one. That wraps up our weekly watch list, everybody. Um, Rewatch this. Look out for the potential setups. Um, 
reach out to us if you have any questions in our mighty networks we put this together for you guys all right so um to share our knowledge and our experience feel free re-watch this share with your friends um yeah have a safe training week uh we'll be in touch have a good one Aloha.